Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third one. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third one. And in today's video, we will talk about how to solve word problems with regard to the percentage. So without further ado, let's do this topic. I have here a single problem na kung saan, itong problem na ito ay pinost ko sa aking Facebook page na Math Teacher God. If hindi pa napupuntahan yung page natin, feel free to search sa Facebook yung Math Teacher Dawn Facebook page and consider liking and following that kind of page na meron tayo. So, in this problem, we are given in a class, in a class, 60% of the students are girls. If the total number of students is 30, what is the number of boys? So again, in a class, 60% of the students are girls. If the total number of students is 30, what is the number of boys? I will give you two different approaches on how to solve this kind of problem. First, yung conventional way. Una, meron tayo itong total number of students which is 30. At sabi dito, meron tayong 30 students. And sabi dito, 60% of them are girls. So what you will do, First is to multiply 30, the total number of students, by the equivalent decimal form of 60%, which is 0 0.6. And multiplying it, this will give you 18. Ito ay yung new number of girls. Ngayon, ang target natin dito is to solve for the number of boys. So, paano ba natin is solve the number of boys? Since we already have the total number of girls and the number of the students inside the class, we will simply subtract 30 by 18. And this will give us the answer of 12. Ibig sabihin ito guys, meron tayong 12 boys in the class of 30 given this problem. That is the first way on how to solve this problem. Another approach na pwede natin gawin is that this one. We know that the total number of uh, students na girls ay 60%. Ibig sabihin, kunin na na, pwede natin kunin yung percentage na meron ng boys sa loob ng classroom. Yung 100% na meron tayo dito sa board ngayon, it represents uh, the whole class. And then minus your 60%, which is the percentage of the girls inside the class, in which when, when we subtract them, this will give us the answer of 40%. Ngayon, para makuha natin yung mismong number of boys, kasi itong 40% natin ay boys. So, what we need to do is to multiply the total number of students, which is 30, by the equivalent decimal form of 40%, which is 0 0.4. And this will give us the answer of 12 boys. As you can see guys, different approaches, pero same ang answer. And I hope guys, na natutuwa sa video na to, kahit na sobrang excellent na to. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!